Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 37 of Darwell20's Omnifactory Let's Play series. Cooking up stuff, needs a little more power, you can do it buddy. You can finish those last few crafts, I promise. Super low on juice, but you can do it. Believe in you. Get back to work. Uh, energy's doing pretty good around the base. A uh, little bit of struggling, but uh, we should be cool pretty soon. I'm assuming that you are cooking in. So you are nice and empty. Haha, -ha. they cleared out all their backlog. We did a lot of crafting just, just now. Uh, but that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll refill things pretty soon, right? So what's going to happen is these buffers will refill, right? And then this guy will refill, and then that guy will refill. We've got a lot of batteries. We've got a lot of energy stored around the network, which is probably really good for us, right? Probably super good for us. Um, so I'm very happy about that. Hey, look what I'm ready to make. Boom. The rocket assembly machine. Quest complete. So that thing wasn't too bad to make. If you look at the recipe here, uh, four robot arms and two emitters, auto-craftable. Steel heavy plating, auto-craftable. Machine structures, auto-craftable. Screen, easy enough to make by hand. Advanced assembly machine, easy enough to make by hand. And the electronic processors, which are auto-craftable. So everything was pretty much just like kick off the crafts and wait a few minutes and then we were ready to make the uh, rocket structure. Cool. So guess who's going to the moon, y'all? direwolf hopefully soon uh this is one of the simpler rockets you can build the specifics of the shape don't really matter as long as the rocket engines are on the bottom and all the parts are added it also needs to be inside the edges of the launch pad and not taller than the structure tower the rocket fluid loader is a part of the rocket itself and this is where you insert the fuel using buckets or conduits be careful because it can continue to consume fuel even after the rocket is full up and this will void the excess fuel uh, you'll first need to complete the VAT quest line and the rocket fuel quest line, both of which are nearby on this page. Cool. Um, so let's get these guys added to our to-do list, right? So not too bad looking, though that's a lot of things. And a guidance computer and a seat. Jiminy Jillikers, that's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Isn't it? Feels like a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to have to figure out all the good stuff we get to do uh, now. So to make this, we're gonna need two liquid-fueled engines, six liquid fuel tanks, and a guidance computer, which has a bunch of HV stuff that I don't have on AutoCraft. I know I don't. I know I don't have emitters uh, and sensors on AutoCraft, but we can probably make them relatively easily by hand. Uh, I don't know how much we'll need to AutoCraft them, so I'm holding off on the AutoCrafting. Also because um, I don't have another molecular assembler down there, which I should really, really solve and fix right really really do something about how are you doing uh i was getting on aluminum so i went to one of my aluminum ore mines and collected a bunch of stuff i have my miner over there ish harvesting a bunch of uh, aluminum that i found and it's it's currently doing a good job in fact i'm not sure let's go take a look at that thing because i'm trying to remember how it was uh on power when i left there i went and grabbed all the aluminum that it had sucked up so far Power-wise, it's seen better days. Cool. So we've got a bunch of bauxite, and now it looks like it's picking up some other things. Not bad. Found some silver and lead. Never, never a bad deal. So this is basically how I've been mining, right? I, I say I need something. I go over and I scan for that. So check out my scanner, right? I've got aluminum ore. Right? So I scan for aluminum, which is luckily at the surface. So I just had to like run around a little bit and it's pretty common. Found it, plop down the vertical digger and walk away and come back a little bit later and we're good. Nice. So not, not a bad way to mine. Definitely not. We might want to do better at some point, but for now it's sufficient. Let me just whoosh our way back here. Kind of. So next up, I think I have more crafting to do. That's basically what it comes down to. So liquid-fueled engines need... Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. Not too bad. Not not too bad. We can we can pull this off, right? We're going to need more steel heavy plating for sure. Uh, we need six liquid fuel tanks, which is going to need nine... No, uh, 18, right? Yeah, 8, 16, 20... Yeah, 9, 18. 6 times 3. I know how to math. Right? 18 tanks. You think you could pull that off? I thought I taught you tanks. I thought I taught you tanks. You know what? I taught you everything but tanks. I really need another an, another molecular assembler. I should probably teach you how to make those. You think that would be doable? 
You think you uh, could do that for me? What else would you be missing to pull that off? Probably not too much, to be fair. Uh, all we'd have to do is remove something here that we don't super need at this moment so that we can make another molecular assembler. So what are you missing to make that? Infinity bimetal gears? I can pull that off. And I don't think you know how to make iron gears. So you're going to learn real quick. Iron gear, alloy smeltery. Could I get two of those? I could. Nice. All right, cool. And we're also going to need a few more interfaces. Like, could you get six of those? Missing aluminum. Remember I said I was low on aluminum and there was a reason that I was doing stuff? That's another reason that this thing's so low, is I was smelting a bunch of aluminum and I drained out all the batteries. All right, but he'll fill back up. And this guy was filling up and now he's getting low again. But it's all good. We'll, we'll be fine. I think we're pretty good on power, to be fair. I think we're going to be pretty good on power. How about just three of these for now? Would that be a sufficient? Yeah, I could do that. Nice. Cool. So that'll get me that working again. So let me get off camera, uh, make these three things, which don't look too bad. I'll just have to, you know, spend a little time doing it, and then we'll come right back. All right, guys, we're back. So I've done a bunch of crafting between episodes. A little bit of questing, a little bit of crafting. Let's go through and see what we did. So I made the vat, easy peasy. Uh, I made some do of the void, right? So do I still have this listed here? Right, so here's all the stuff I had to make. boop a doop a doop a doop a doop uh, And I also made this thing, guidance computer. Ding, that's what's up. So um, we made the vat pretty straightforward, MV electric pumps, obsidian furnace, which you might notice is no longer sitting right here because I used the one I already had. Uh, grains of pesiality, right? That's just pulsating crystals that are bound, ground, and that's pulsating iron, which is that pulsating dust and iron with a diamond. Easy peasy, right? Grains of uh, vibrancy is a vibrant crystal, right? Also easy peasy. Um, that is just a vibrant alloy with an emerald, right? So do of the void is basically those two plus resonant ender. Cool. Uh, and now we're making telepad blocks and I'll tell you why. So once we got that, we got staff of traveling, right? Uh, and then we got travel anchors, right? Which are, um, one travel anchor equals a pulsating crystal, which we just saw to make. Uh, and four dark seal plate and four vibrant alloy plate, which is basically just vibrant alloy, right? Um, but now the next quest recommends that we set up telepads, right? And this is for interdimensional teleportation, right? So the, the purpose of the telepad is you guys have seen me do it with RF tools before where I have the matter receiver and, and matter transmitter. It's basically that, but way more expensive, right? So the telepad is Ender.io's way of doing things. And you can link up to specific coordinates in specific dimensions um, to get where you want to go. The telepad, though, is a three by one by three multi block. So we need nine of them here in the overworld, right? In, in the on Earth. And then we're going to need another nine chilling over in uh, on the moon so we can teleport back and forth, which sounds like a really good time. Uh, he said lying to his audience. Um, not so much a good time, but we'll see how it goes, right? So right now, there's a lot of crafting going on, and, uh, and, and I'm still choking on energy over here, which is a little surprising to me. I wouldn't think that would be the case, but I totally am. Um, so we'll just have to deal with that at some point. But right now, I think I might have to mallet you again to let, let my batteries here real, recharge real quick. Um... And you're working on making telepads for me because I taught the A system how to make them because there are a lot of crafting steps involved. But long story short, we needed a stupid amount of ender pearls, right? So we need for each telepad, remember we need 18 of these. We need travel anchors. So we needed 18 of these. So we need 18 times four vibrant alloy and dark steel plates. Um, and then we needed 18 octadic capacitors. And then we need uh, you know, 18 times four more dark steel plates. And then we need vibrant quartz glass, which also needs vibrant alloy ingots. So lots of vibrant alloys, <laughs> as you can see. So you can see all the crafting in progress here, right? All that's happening uh, as, as we're just chilling here, letting that cook, right? So right now it's just a little bit of power choking on the... Uh, on, on the old blast furnace, but that's okay. Um, we'll, we'll just let that guy chill. There's probably a thing or two I could do to make life easier there. 
Um, but we can see that, you know, we have uh, probably burned out most of our power reserves making this gigantic craft, which is mostly vibrant alloy ingots. Like, there's just a lot of those needed. Um, I also burned through a lot of these guys. I don't know if you remember the last time I ran this data collector, but I've, I did at least 200 uh, Enderman analyses and made a bunch of Ender Pearls. So, you know, had that going for us, among other things that are in progress. So... Long story short, you will probably... Good, you're doing Vibrance now. Cool, so your, vi your energetics are complete, and now you're making all the Vibrance we need. Look at how many Vibrant alloys <laughs> we need to make here. It's ridiculous. Uh, but that's part of the quest, right? So if we want to progress on the quest line, we got to do that, right? So we completed Apollo program now. Why don't we hand in all of our quests? Huzzah! And uh, come over here, and we'll put these guys away. And if we check now, uh, our next task is to make the flight path to the moon, right? So we have to fi finish interdimensional teleportation. It really wants me to have that before we do this. So I guess I should make a coordinate scanner as well. Uh, so why don't I cook up one of these? We need an MV emitter and a vibrant bimetal gear, because why not? And blocks of ender eyes, because why not? Chemical reactor, do we have that taught yet? I don't think we do. Uh, Ender Eye, can you just make a chemical? Is that it? Just chemical reactor? Okay, cool. Uh, I suspect I could just throw you down here, right? This is a chemical reactor. So if I wanted, you know, 10 of you dudes. Oh, you're missing blaze powder. I know we have blaze rods. Blaze powder is probably just pulverized, I would imagine. Yes, cool. Um, pulverizer. Do, 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 do. Advanced macerator, cool. So if I asked for 10 of you, you'd come down and combine just fine? Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay. Easy peasy. Um, have you started choking on power again yet? Yep. So it's rare that I've had such a large craft that the, that the amount of power storage I have has become a problem, but... I guess it's a good thing we got into the diesel gen thing, right? Um, how are we on, on biodiesel? Lots of buckets, which is nice. Uh, we actually had backstuffed a lot of ethanol because I forgot to add this to the, to the chemical reactor, right? So this guy's needed for the actual crafting. I forgot an export bus for that. So that's a big to-do list item for me to keep that up and running. Um, and I can only assume that our... Good. We still have uh, lots of lava going on here, so that's cool. All right. So I think we just wait for some crafting, and then we'll be good. So I'm going to do a little bit of that and a little bit of this, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Just to expedite things a little bit. How does that sound? Conduit. Do we have any regular fluid conduits? Not right now. Really? Are out of those things? Pressurized fluid conduits. Let's get some more glass. Never hurts to have a little bit more of that. I should do a cobble works at some point. Never a bad idea. I don't want to use the good conduits if I don't have to. You know what I mean? Um, and then you're going to be set to push down, which should be filling this guy back up. Um, and this should be a 4x. Oh, that's going to be expensive gonna be annoyingly expensive yeah the problem is is my blast furnace is a little busy right now I could probably borrow a 4x from somebody I'm just saying you're probably not super busy right now right and now can I make another HV turbo diesel yeah I can booyah very happy right and then we just do that Cool. So now you're getting all the diesel in the world, and you're going to be producing even more power for us. Yay! Lots of power. Lots of RF. Which means you can run again and be happy. Now I would be super thrilled if you could keep up with the demands, but you probably can't. Though you're pretty close, to be fair. Pretty close to being able to keep up with them demands. Not bad at all. All right, uh, back in a few while we wait for a little bit more, I mean a lot more, vibrant alloy crafting. 
Hey, you know what we could always do? Just make another one. That should be cool. Now we're really cooking. That should be an awesome amount of RF attack, to be fair. That should be really, really nice. Actually, we're, we're, we're generating more power than we can transfer in our conduits right now. That is cool. You know that because this is filling up. <laughs> so we're actually generating more power because these ender conduits can only do 8,000 RF attack instead of the standard 20 that we usually can do. So that's a thing. Uh, so we have to get to the next tier conduit for that line because we are actually really choking on power a little bit. That might be a problem. Um, you know, we, we, we should also consider rewiring some of this using P2P and upgrading some of these conduits to the next tier, which I think is the endstone tier. So if I want to upgrade you, what's it require? Uh, end steel energy conduits, which can do 32,000, um, which can then be upgraded to 131 to 524, to 2 million, to 8 million, to 134 million. <laughs> Just gets more and more ridiculous. <laughs> 134 million are of a dick, because that's probably where we're going to be in this pack at some point. If I'm being honest, I really do think we will probably get to that point. Honestly, we really, really will. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, still cooking. Back in a few. You know, endstone ain't so bad to make. How are we for dark steel? Get me 16 of those, right? It'll take a minute, but we could we could do it. Um, I just need to macerate you into dust. And then we can make end steel. Not so bad. Not so bad at all, actually. Uh, not a bad end stone recipe craft. Uh, might, might, might wind up using that a little bit more. But uh, we'll have to wait still for the dark steel. Now that's an alloy smelter recipe, so we don't have to wait too long, luckily. But yeah, uh, coming back in a minute. Well, actually, no, you should have some dark steel. No, you're still, you're still cooking. Wasn't I stealing it crafting? I thought it was storing steel ingots. Yeah, I guess you uh, decided not to do that. And we're waiting. Hey, a little bit of end steel wire. Nice. So I should be able to say, give me some of this. Oh, we need more conduit binding, because of course we do. And we don't have any gravel, because of course we don't. So that's pulverized cobble. Do we have cobblestone? Yeah, we do. Nice. Well, at least we have something. Is that really? Oh, no. There we go. I was like, why did I only get nine of that? Fair enough. I mean, to be fair, I've been voiding lots of cobble. So, you know. Wow, that was a quick stack, wasn't it? Nope, not you. You. Are you done yet? You're getting there. It's not the fastest thing in the world to craft. Oh, look at you alloy smeltering. Good job. We'll come back to that stuff. Uh, so now you can make this? Six of them. Is that going to be enough? It might be exactly enough. So you're gonna do... Actually, you could probably... I don't know that you need to be connected there. So on the west side, you active with redstone signal, right? Cool. So now you've got... Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is cool. Well, it's like you don't even need that. Cool. Look at that, power in. 9,000. That is good times right there. So you guys should be draining them, right? Beautiful. That's what's up. Okay, cool. Very nice. Very nice. 100% need to do more of that. How are you doing? Choking, probably. Yeah, getting, getting pretty choked up. We'll give him a pause. Give him a little break. And be right back. All right, we'll let this guy run again, which should complete a, a handful of crafts, right? I'm going to take you guys out for a sec because I want to let these clear out because I suspect there's more about to show up in there. A little bit, a little bit something, something. Yep, I suspected more vibrance. All right, now you should be pretty much done. Cool. Now take care of all the stainless steel backlog that you got. All right.
So guess who has telepads? Nice. Uh, now, do we also have the energetics that I requested? No, we probably need more of those and more vibrance. There's a lot of crafting to go to the moon. Who'd, who'd have thunk going to the moon would be a difficult thing? But we're getting there. I'm liking the tiering of power. I really am. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Um, so that's that's super fun for me, right? So you're making energetic alloys, which is cool. And then the other guy is going to make those. Because I need these to make this and that. Good, you combine. And how's this alloy coming along? Nicely. Do, 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 do. Three and the fourth one. Cool. And you go right in there for that guy because we need that kind of gear to get what's next. And then this thing is down there. He's doing fine. That means I should be able to make this with that. Nice. Booyah. Now my telepads should all be done that I requested, and now I just need some paper. Cool. Quest complete. Booyah. Whoa, look at that big thing. Fly to the moon. That's our next step. That's our next step. Awesome. Um, hey, where's my power? Are you really choking that much? You shouldn't be. You know what it is? It's 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 the vibrant alloys, dude. Like, uh, we need to upgrade these these conduits. 100% need to upgrade these conduits. That's our problem right now. I'm gonna disconnect you for a minute so that you can recharge. That's the problem. We we have energy now. We just can't get it around our, ba our base fast enough because we don't have enough end steel energy conduits. We need to upgrade everything. That's awesome, actually. I'm, I really think that's kind of cool. Um, we'll have to rearrange some things, right? We'll have, to, we'll have to absolutely take care of that. And I mean, there's a lot of wiring cleanup I can do now that I have the P2Ps going on, right? Pretty much everywhere where I have a conduit and a vibrant alloy energy conduit, like those could be P2P'd, right? That's, that's pretty much what we're looking at. Oh yeah, did I ask for more 4Xs? Give me like four of those, would you bro? He says when he's barely got enough power to do all the processing he's got already. All right, so telepads are good. Where should we set up our telepad? Should we set up like a telepad room over here? I suspect this is a room, right? It is not a room. I thought this would be like part of this room. And it's not. I thought there would be a whole room over here. And there's not. There's not a whole room at all. I was hoping that we'd be breaking into this. <laughs> there would be a whole room over here. That's what I was thinking. And nope. Not at all. Not at all any rooms at all. We'll just pretend like we didn't break through that at all. No, it's fine. Dyer didn't do nothing there. What are you talking about? Um, our telepad area... Right, so we saw this upstairs area here that we never really did anything with, and there's obviously some of this stuff as well. Um, but what I'm thinking we might do, because um, I want the telepad to be somewhere intelligible, right? So I'm gonna break out this stuff. And I might even give myself a little bit more space in the ceiling up here. I feel like that's a, that's a nice thing to do for myself. Oh, you're the best. You're the best drill a dyer could ask for, Mr. Drill. Beautiful. I like when you can shift click stuff. So I'm basically going to clear out this room so that it's like one giant area to live in. And then we might throw our telepad in here, right? Does this? Yeah, that, that'll do. And then we'll just mark with this stuff, right? Is that cool? Do we want to do that? I like this idea. I think this looks nice. Beautiful. And then we can put away some of these things. I like that. Did I turn off my void bag? I think I did, which is cool, which is why I'm getting... It's probably a good idea. So is there anything really in here I care about? I'm thinking now. Thinking now. Right, get this stuff out of here. I don't need this crafting station here no more. 
This was a drawer full of cobblestone. It is now nothing. Except the big waste of space. And I'll tell you what's in this uh, big crate here next to me. All my space stuff. I'm just going to move that to like right here. And that should be cool, right? Put this guy away, put this guy away. And that looks good to me. All right, all my space stuff. That's all the stuff we need to go to space. And I think I'm going to put my telepad maybe right here. Does that sound like a cool place for a telepad? I like the look of that. Yeah, that's what's up. Input tank, do with a void, right? So we need some do with a void in there. And I'm hoping that that doesn't use a ton of it. How do I get do with a void into you? Um, I could probably get a tank. Uh, I'll just make one of these if that's handy. Thanks, buddy. Output below. Yay, that works. Reagent tank, sweet. So what I might wind up doing, oops, didn't want to do that. Hopefully I didn't lose the tile entities data. Nope, I didn't, yay. So what I'll do is actually wind up doing a push to that side instead of down there. Cool. Uh, and then obviously he's going to need power, so we'll want, want to run some power over to this bad boy at some point. Um, capacitor, I think I've got an extra capacitor laying around, so I could at least do that. I was hoping I could have like an energy readout right there. But alas, it was not to be. All right. So now if I want to create a teleport entry, right? So I'm thinking like we should teleport right to about here when we teleport on. Does that sound cool? From, from you know what? I'm going to teleport to right here. Uh, home? Okay. Sweet. So that's the destination to come home. Right, so that's how the telepad works. Right, you uh, you you shift right click with the coordinate scanner to hit the block that you're looking at. I think, right, right, print the coordinates of the block. Right click at block to select the block adjacent on that side. Shift right click block to select that specific block. <laughs> that might not be right. I might I might want to have just right clicked. Boom. Not shift right click because I wanna I wanna appear here, not inside the block. I suspect that's what I just did properly. Um, are you doing the, the problem thing again a little bit? Could you? Are you done crafting? You are. All right, so we'll get power back down down in our AE system in like a minute once uh, this guy's buffer fills back up, among other buffers that we have to wait for. Boop. Or we could just do that. That's one way to to solve that problem. You'll fill up with AE. Then by the time you need it again, we should be cool. And look at us, we're burning through most of our biodiesel. You can tell because we're getting low on biodiesel. Did we burn through it all? I'd be amazed if we did. No, we still have 253 buckets. So, you know what it is, is we might be struggling to do this tank thing properly. So I could throw one of these in there. That'll be faster, right? Much better. Okay, so this is how we get home with the telepad in the other dimension. Deal? So we're going to want our tank... Um, we're going to want another one of these. So I'm going to put all this stuff in my space stuff chest, right? The full capacitor, the do of the void, the tank, um, the home coordinates, the grains of pesiality, my coordinate selector. These are all things I want to make sure to bring with me when I go to the moon, right? So that when we, when we successfully travel to the moon, uh, we can have a telepad block. We'll mark coordinates. You know what we need is paper paper so that we can mark the coordinates on the moon so that when we teleport home we're good now what would be in like the difficulty of getting an infinity booster card would that be particularly difficult it doesn't look terrible right not terrible not cheap and i suspect it's going to be the uses energy thing instead of the always infinite range thing so we'll probably just want to be like super careful when we travel the moon and, and be ready to go all right, so for now, I think we're in a pretty good position with this, right? So I'm going to keep my stone bricks here. Boop, boop, boop. 
right? So that's how we're gonna get home, right? And that's how we're gonna get back and forth to the moon. I like it. When we go to the moon, we're gonna bring power, we're gonna bring Dew of the Void, and we'll bring a few things to make sure that we're good, right? And then we can teleport ourselves home. I'm not sure how much Dew of the Void it uses for each teleport, but we'll find out when we first do it, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap up the episode here. We're gonna come back next time, and we're gonna build a rocket, apparently, right? Because quest-wise, I think that's our next task. We need the planet ID chip. You'll need this to get the guidance computer's destination to the moon. Nice. That doesn't look so bad. Um, we could actually probably make that right now, right? So um, I'll make that right this minute, and then next episode we'll come back. So I'm going to want two vibrant and six stainless steel wire. Nope. Do I not have stainless steel? Cool. Do the thing. Um, and then uh, two vibrant alloy plates. That should be nice and quick. Ah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. That actually didn't have like the intermediary uh, wiring step, right? So that's pretty cool. Okay, so you guys go here and then your vibrant alloy plates should be quick. You know what, I think I accidentally kicked off a craft of stainless steel because I took so much out, cancel that. Needing more power, always the problem. All right, so we'll wrap up the episode here. Um, it shouldn't take too long to get an energy. Oh, you know what? Duh. I removed this so that our A system would charge, and I didn't reconnect it. Yeah, so we'll come back next episode, and then we'll be cool to, to do what we need to do, right? For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Come back next time, going to the moon, hopefully getting titanium, and then starting EV otherwise known as Extreme Voltage. Dun, dun, dun! Hope you guys are excited, because I kind of am. All right, guys. Take it easy.